doing a little warm up and mobility here, as you can see, getting some pass throughs or dislocates or dislocations. Pass through seems a little bit of a better way of calling, not as scary. You're not actually dislocating your shoulder, but it might feel like it at times, and it's really just warming that shoulder up. Onto some pull aparts here, so it's just gonna be warming the upper back muscles up to make sure you get that nice uh, retraction in the scapula here. So we're starting off with this weighted pull up and as you can see we have the dumbbells between our legs. Now you can actually use a weight belt and also chains like we do in the past but we just wanted to show that it's if you don't have a belt or if you don't have chains if you just have a dumbbell you can easily just put them between your legs cross your legs and it works fine just like that. So as you pull up you want to try to get that chin above the bar. Now this is going to happen by depressing the scapula with slight retraction there and get your elbows down into the back pockets area to really get that lat activation. So we're moving on to some seated close grip rows here. Now this is one of our favorite exercises and it's really going to be working on that scapular retraction in there. So as you pull that weight you're really going to squeeze those shoulders back and also get those elbows as far back as you can too. You can tell too our upper body is swaying forward just a bit. Now we're being really careful and controlled here. We're not. It's not an uncontrolled momentum using movement, but we are just doing that to create a little bit more stretch in the lats as we pull forward. Now onto the T-bar rows. Now this is basically just a variation of the bent over row, but of course it's with the T-bar. Now you can just use a regular barbell if you just stick it in the corner and have a V-grip or a T-grip. But with this one, it's an excellent setup. And as you can see, we're going up in weight as we keep that real good contraction in the core to help stabilize the spine in that bent over motion. Same thing, you want to retract the scapula and get those elbows nice and high as you pull the weight up to about the sternum level. Make sure you flex afterward too. As you can see, we put the belt on because our lower back was starting to feel it, having a little bit more contraction in there due to stabilizing that heavier weight. So put that belt on to make sure you get that stabilization in the core once you go really heavy. Moving on to some single arm dumbbell rows here. Now this is a unilateral exercise, so really trying to concentrate on one side of the back and then the other, one lap and then the other. And that concludes our workout. Hell no, we're just getting started. Anyone who's going to have asymmetrical problems in the body, the thing is that you want to do certain exercises to try to help out with symmetry and to make sure you bring up those lagging body parts. And this is one great exercise you can do it with. On to the dumbbell pullovers here. Now this is considered somewhat an isolation exercise because first you're going to be flexing the shoulders and then extending the shoulders. So now this is a full upper body pump and it, yes, it does work the chest but it also works the lats, stratus interiors, it works some of the triceps, shoulders. So as you can tell, it works a lot. So what you do is cross bench and you're gonna take a nice deep breath as you pull that weight overhead and then exhale as you pull it up and extend with the shoulders to the top position there. Make sure you get a nice deep stretch in the lats and a little bit in the chest and then slowly bring it over to the top position. Make sure you start light and get a nice fluid motion. Not everyone is very mobile or as mobile as some other people in this kind of exercise. So don't expect to get the maximum mobility right away. It might take a little work, so take your time. The biceps are used as a secondary muscle group for any kind of pulling motion. So now that we got all the big pulls out of the way, we're going to be isolating the biceps to make sure you get the full benefit, full pump, and full growth. They can. So we're starting off with some seated cable curls here. Pretty simple. It's kind of like a preacher curl in a way, but of course the cable is going to contain that constant contraction or constant resistance in there. So even as you bring it down or up all the way, you're going to be feeling that tension in there and it's going to make those biceps work even harder. Hammer curls are next. I think this might be Thor's favorite exercise. Definitely. 
So with this one, you're getting flexion in the elbow here, but you're not supinating the palm. So this is, yes, going to be working the bicep, but it's also going to be working the extensors of the forearms at the same time, or at least more so than a standard supinated grip curl would do. And that's going to be perfect because that leads right into our next exercise, which is going to be reverse curls, which is also focusing on the forearms as well. You can see that Brandon's using it in the preacher curl setup, but you know what? That's just not good enough for us buff dudes. We're going to have to go for something a little bit more epic, a little bit more mythical. I'm talking about the arm blaster in the stone. Am I crazy, you say? No, I'm not. Here it is. Are we worthy? Yes, we are. Now it's time for us to perform this excellent exercise. So the great thing about the arm blaster, it's actually mimicking much like the preacher bench or the preacher curl. The back of the upper arm is getting supported, so it's going to be taking the shoulder out of the motion here. And you can see that we have a reverse grip. So yes, it's still working that bicep with elbow flexion, but it's also going to be working on those extensors of the forearm due to the pronated grip. And if you haven't tried the arm blaster, give it a shot because it makes your arms look giant. And sometimes the visuals while looking at yourself in the mirror can really motivate you to keep going strong. It's amazing how those little psychological tricks can really help. I mean, look, Brandon's bicep's already 50% bigger. Thank you, arm blaster. Now to put the golden arm blaster back in the stone to be retrieved by another worthy buff dude. And that wraps up our workout. Back and biceps are finished. It was intense, we barely survived, and now it's time for some post-workout way gold. We can't miss that anabolic window especially on our long drive home in Los Angeles traffic. Oh yeah, look at that thing. Oh yeah, stay buff. Hope you enjoyed the workout. Look for a chest and triceps workout on the way. What are me and Brandon up to? We are finalizing our Buff Dudes Bulking book. So we've been damn busy with that these last couple months. We got a little ways to go on it. That's why we're just coming out with a few of these sporadic workouts. We're still trying to stay intense, but we're not on a set routine at the moment, but we will be come January. So look for that soon. And until next time, what do we tell them, Brandon? Stay buff. Oh yeah.